Fujifilm announced last January 23, 2020, their newest addition to their XT series camera, the Fujifilm XT200. I did a hands-on first impressions of this camera. You can also watch that, I'll put the link below. Fujifilm X-T200 has a bigger and better grip but it is compact and lightweight. Unique color reproduction technology, 24 megapixels, 4K 30fps, no crop, excellent autofocus performance, variangle wide LCD touch screen, digital gimbal, HDR options, and all these pro level features packed in one camera. The question is... Is this the camera for you? Let's now check the key specs of this camera. Color Science is one of the legacies of Fujifilm. This camera has 11 film simulations, but it doesn't have my favorite Eterna. It doesn't have the Across, and it doesn't have the latest classic negative. If you're after of those film simulations, maybe this camera is not for you. I guess Fujifilm is putting those on their higher units or flagship models, and considering its price, we can't have it all. On the brighter side, it has tons of advanced filters. You will also love the scene position mode. In addition to that, the smart menu XT200 has the same touch screen interface as the XA7, which makes adjusting the camera's settings easy, simple, and outcome oriented. You can easily adjust depth control and also use the portrait enhancer. Since this camera doesn't have a dedicated Q menu button, you can customize the two function buttons for this. A customizable My Menu is a new addition. You can add here all the settings you prefer. It's easier and faster. Like I said from my previous video, I love the variangle LCD screen of this camera. You can flip it in so many different ways. If you love taking selfies, if you want to do videos or vlogs, this camera is perfect for you. Let's talk more about the major video improvements. XT200 can shoot up to 4K 30 frames per second, no crop. It also has an option for full HD up to 60 frames per second 120 fps high speed mode is also available if you love taking slow-mo shots then this camera is for you the digital gimbal uses a gyro sensor to smooth out video as of the moment only a few lenses are compatible with this feature hopefully other lenses will update and will be compatible with the digital gimbal the in-camera movie trimming has been newly added to trim recorded video. You can select a start and end point to save what's inside as a new clip. This shortens the duration of video replay and reduces data size. It also has a countdown video recording. You can select specific lengths for your video. This camera also has a time-lapse movie mode. I'm currently shooting time-lapse now and I'll show you the results later. Overall, I can recommend this camera for beginners. If you're looking for your first mirrorless camera, this is a good deal for you. Also, for someone who uses their phone to take photos and want to step up their photography. This is also good for travelers since it is light and compact and you can charge it using a power bank. Although, this is not a weather sealed camera. 
I can also recommend this camera for someone who is into videos and vlogging because of the fully articulating screen and a promising video specs. Let's now answer some of the questions from Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. First question is from Jericho on Facebook. Sana ma-review niyo po sir yung about sa mga lens at saka kung ano po yung mga pwede na mga lens sa Fujifilm X-T100 or X-T200 para sa mga beginner na kagaya ko po. There are a lot of review videos on lens. You can also search it for yourself. Since this camera is an interchangeable lens camera, any Fujifilm X mount lens will surely help you enhance your skills and creativity. There are a lot of Fujinon lenses that Fujifilm offers, from wide lens, prime lens, and zoom lens. It also depends on what type of photography you will use those lenses. I personally use my XF 35mm f2 mostly for portraits and travels. The new XE 35mm f2 which was announced alongside with the XT200 will be a great all-around lens for portraits and travels. Second question is from Daryl on Facebook. Same features lang po sa XT100 and Yun Lin on Instagram asked, Can you also make a comparison video with XT100 and XT200 if you have po. Thank you. There are a lot of videos that compares XT100 and XT200, but here's what I got in my research. Both camera has 24 megapixel APS-C, but XT200 has faster readout speeds. Also, more focus points, larger, brighter, better LCD touch screen for XT200. The screen of XT100 is 3 inches 3-way touch screen while XT200 has 3.5 inches fully articulated touch screen. Next question is from JPP on Facebook. May his po by using external shotgun mic? Napuputol din po ba yung 4K 30 frames per second video niya? How to resolve that? I think as long as the external microphone has 3.5mm plug, you can directly connect it to the camera. Or if the plug has a different size, then you will need an appropriate adapter for it. On your second question, I try to shoot 4K 30 frames per second and it seems to perform well. Although, shooting 4K videos has 15-minute limit. Shooting 4K or high-resolution videos require high-performing SD memory cards. The read speed of 60 to 90 MBS is an ideal choice. Videos use the larger amount of data than the photographs, so the bigger the SD memory card, the more data you can store. Next question is from Kat Labarda on Instagram. Just watched your YouTube video. Can you make a comparison video of XT200 and XT30? Thank you. Honestly, since I already own an XT30, I would choose XT30 over XT200. Image, video specs, and performance are better on XT30. However, I really love the fully articulating screen of the X-T200. I wish that the next cameras of Fujifilm will have at least the specs and performance of an X-T30 with the fully articulating screen of X-T200. <laughs> uh, that would be a perfect combination for me. <laughs> The last question is from Swagath V. Nair on YouTube. A6400 or XT200, which one is better for portrait photography? Honestly, I don't know much about A6400. I think both cameras are capable to shoot portraits. 
but one thing you also have to consider is the lens lineup of the system that you will choose. If you're into portraitures, eventually you will invest on prime lenses. Since I am familiar with Fujifilm system, I know there are a lot of options you can choose. The new XC 35mm f2, which is basically a cheaper version of XF 35mm f2, can be your next portrait lens. I hope you make the best choice. I've been shooting with this camera for more than two weeks now. I can personally say I am happy and I am satisfied with this camera. The photos are sharp, colors are beautiful. Although, since I already shoot with my X-T30, I think this is not really an upgrade for me. However, I wish I can detach the LCD of this X-T200 and put it on my X-T30. Can I really do that? Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.